Teaching with Technology The technology has changed the world of teaching and learning. Effects of technology on learning and teaching What the experience teaches us Why use technology? Enter activity, the process of two people or things working together and influencing each other. Content delivery, on the internet, content delivery, sometimes called content distribution, content distribution delivery, or content caching, is a service of copying the pages of a website to geographically dispersed servers. Managing learning and resources, a major objective of the system is to provide a technical basis for Assessing, acquiring, adapting, developing, producing, and distributing quality learning, resource materials, and instructional support materials. Technically, a hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP request to the closest server when the web user clicks on a URL that is content delivery enabled. Managing these learning resources needs proper planning and organization. Next is collaboration, the action of working with someone to produce or create something. Sense of cohort. A cohort program describes a group of students following a course of study together. They have similar class options and requirements, so will likely to build solidarity. Communication, the imparting or exchanging of information or news. A communication involves at least a sender, a message, and a recipient. Can we draw talking or calling, or texting or chatting? Variety of teaching and learning preferences. Seven learning styles. Number one, visual or spatial. You prefer using pictures, image, and spatial understanding. Number two, oral or auditory. You prefer using sound and music. Number three, verbal or linguistic. You prefer using words both in speech and writing. 4. Physical or kinesthetic, you prefer using your body, hands, and sense of touch. Number 5. Logical or mathematical, you prefer using logic, reasoning, and systems. Number 6. Social or interpersonal, you prefer to learn in groups or with other people. 7. Solitary or intrapersonal, you prefer to work alone and use self-study. Teaching Preferences Learner-Centered Method In this method, the teacher or instructor is both a teacher and a learner at the same time, so that his classroom extends rather than constricts his intellectual horizons. Interactive or Participative Method This method are driven by the situational analysis of what is the most appropriate thing for us to do or learn. They require a participatory understanding of varied domains and factors, create new ideas, students give their inputs, teachers provide knowledge related to the topic, and many more. What is the difference between formative and summative assessment? The goal of formative assessment is to monitor student learning to provide ongoing feedback. More specifically, help students identify their strengths and weaknesses. While the goal of summative assessment is to evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional unit. Integrating internet-based technology into teaching and learning provides opportunity for more learner-centered instruction, permits instruction to be contextualized and resolved naturally in greater collaboration, cooperation, and small group work. What technological teaching? For some, it might mean using PowerPoint or student classroom response systems and lectures. Others may think of podcasting lectures, and still others may think of specific disciplinary applications, such as designing web-based 
why we need technology. Technology ushers in fundamental structural changes that can be integral to achieving significant improvements in productivity. Technology infuses classrooms with digital learning tools such as computers and handheld devices. Blended learning opportunities incorporate both face-to-face -face and online learning opportunities. Instructional technology or IT has become an important part of teaching and learning within the classroom as well as working with fully online environments. Technology facilitate only. Learning is seen as essentially a social process requiring communication among learner, teachers, and others. Technology integration, its goal is to use technology seamlessly in the classroom so that the technology itself is invisible in support of learning a standards-based curriculum. There are some integration tips. Start with a lesson you are very familiar with and have taught before. Focus on learning objectives. Build relationships. Know the standards like state, nets, and information literacy. Four key areas in technological teaching. Increased learner motivation, advanced topic mastered, student acting as expert, better outcome on standard tests. Allow students to explore, make mistakes, and learn from their errors. Lead to more active and interactive modes of instruction. The learning methods are changing. Are we ready? Learn to develop passion to computers and technology to survive in teaching. That's all. Thank you and God bless.